In this video, I'm counting down the top five books for those interested in learning about the music business. What's up, guys? I'm Brandon, and this is KDMR Music, the channel where we help you learn how to succeed in the music business. So if you're new here, consider subscribing so you don't miss out. So there are tons and tons of resources available for those who want to learn about the music business. Some contains good information, some contains bad information. Seems like I see an advertisement every other day for someone's new webinar or new products, and it's, you know, some of it's helpful information, and some of it's just gimmicks designed to get your money, uh, you know, just to help you with something that's a fad with online media or something of that sort. What I wanted to do was put together a list of the best music business books that are available right now. You can go to your local library, but more likely, you're just going to go on Amazon and order these books for yourself. So I'll include the links to them down below. So coming in at number five is the Music Business Contract Library by Greg Forrest. So the music business and the music industry and the entertainment in industry in general is run on contracts, agreements. Anytime you're going to pay anyone, anytime some money is going to exchange hands, you're going to need to have it in writing. So the Music Business Contract Library is pretty much a huge encyclopedia or a huge book of all of the different contracts that you may come across or you may need to use in the music business. Now, this is not designed for you to just copy and paste the books or the contracts from their book and fill in the blanks and turn them into someone, but it does give you a good idea of what to look for, what types of provisions you may want to include or negotiate when it's time for you to make a deal with someone. This covers everything from initial songwriting agreements to publishing agreements to uh, even a record deal or a management agreement. So it's a really great book to have to study as a resource. Now again, if you end up using some of this information or using a contract, you're always going to want to consult a lawyer before you agree to any terms. But that's number five, The Music Business Contract Library by Greg Forrest. So coming in at number four, it's a book called Making Music Make Money. It's by Eric Beale. He's a professor with Berkeley Online, or at least he was at the time when he wrote the book. So Making Music Make Money is all about the music publishing side of the business, how to set up your music to make money for you for years and years to come. So this covers everything from your initial split sheets to how you should file away all the information, um, how to set up your publishing company, how to reach out to people for more sync licensing placements, and just what to do to get the money that you're owed. So it's a great resource to have, especially if you're a songwriter. It's something I'd recommend at the very top of the list. So that's, again, is Making Music Make Money by Eric Beal. Number three on the list is Music Marketing, Press, Promotion, Distribution, and Retail, and it's by Mike King. He's also a professor at Berkeley. He's actually the chief marketing officer for the Berkeley Music Online program as well. Now, his book is a little bit older, as are most of the books on this list, because one thing that you'll realize as you start to study the music business is that it has not changed in decades. Some of the contracts that you use, so many of the agreements that you see are all have all been in place since even before the 1970s. So with the music marketing book that Mike King wrote, it's actually a great resource. It talks about everything from radio to television to publicity to even some parts of social media. At the time the book was written, social media wasn't as big. There are a lot of references to MySpace, so you can to kind of tell when it was written based off of that. But some of the more foundational information that's in the book is something that I would highly recommend to anyone, especially if marketing isn't your background. It does a great job of introducing you to what marketing is, especially as it relates to music. So again, that's Music Marketing, Press, Promotion, Distribution, and Retail by Mike King. So at number two is a book that just about anyone in this industry will tell you is hands down the number one resource that helped them in their careers. And even still, it's number two on the list. But that book is called 
All You Need to Know About the Music Business. It's by Donald Passman. Donald Passman is an entertainment lawyer. Uh, he's had clients including Kanye West, and he's got a lot of other clients, but that's one that really stuck out to me. Now, all you need to know about the music business, it starts from the very beginning, how to choose a team, who a manager is, what a publicist is. Uh, it talks about some of the things we touched on earlier as far as contracts and record deals. Um, it talks about booking agents. Literally, anything you may need to know about the music business is in that book. And so the title is very much relevant to that book. It's all you need to know about the music business. Um, now, he updates this book every couple of years. I think it's on the 10th edition now perhaps even the 11th, uh, but I'd re I'll go ahead and I'll put the link to it from Amazon in the description below. But again, that's all you need to know about the music business by Donald Passman, hands down one of the greatest books ever written about the music business. That brings me to resource and book number one. Now, the reason this book is number one is because it's written from the perspective of an independent artist, and it's written with the upstart independent artist in mind. Now, a lot of the books that I talked about earlier, they're really only relevant for you once you get into the major music space. So if you're on a label and you know you've got some money behind you that's going to push you and propel you. But this book that I'm about to name is for anyone. Even if you're just now getting a laptop and producing music on GarageBand and you just want to put some songs out on SoundCloud and see where it goes from there, this book will even be relevant to you. And the name of it is How to Make It in the New Music Business by Ari Herstand. Ari Herstand is now an author, but he's known for his music business blog, Ari's Take, where he gives pretty in-depth articles about very specific things in the music business. Uh, one of his more famous articles is about how you are allowed to bring your instrument on a plane. Um, he's got a really good breakdown of a comparison chart between all the major music distributors, whether that's CD Baby or TuneCore. So he's been making noise in the industry for a little while. And he started out just like you or I as a songwriter, a singer. He quit his job at Starbucks and decided to make music his full-time thing and has been teaching artists how to do the same ever since. Anytime he comes across new information, he puts it out on his blog. So How to Make It in the New Music Business is such a great book because it's written in a language that any average Joe could understand. It's just, hey... Here's what you need to know to get started. And it cuts out a lot of the fluff that you'll get in some of these other books where you're learning these archaic industry terms. Ari breaks it down in a way that says, hey, this stuff isn't relevant to you just yet, but some of this is. And I'm going to give you everything you need to go out and make some noise right now. So again, that's How to Make It in the New Music Business by Ari Herstan. And that's my number one book that I recommend to all of my consulting and management clients. So there you have it. There is my top five list of the books that you'll need to read if you want to learn about the music business. Now, there are tons and tons of other books, websites, consultants, and resources out there. But again, if you're wanting to make moves right now, I'd say start with those five. And the more you read, the more you'll learn about, the more you'll research other things, and you'll go down the full rabbit hole like I've been doing for the last 10 years. But that's it for today. Hey, if you haven't joined the Indie Club on Facebook, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link in the description below so that you can do that. Again, there's managers, there's publicists, and of course, other artists just like you looking to make moves in the industry, and they're willing to help you. If you just come, ask your questions, and we've got your back. I'll see you there, and I'll see you in another video very soon. Peace.